banking credential haste. H A C E D. What does that mean? Yes, ma'am. That's not a word. That, that this is, is a not a word. Haste means no. That this, right now. Oh, look here. It's spelled right over here. Ma'am, this is not misspelled, ma'am. This is the word that we use. Let's see. No, see, uh, no, you can no. See, I think that's the not. Here. That can't be right. This is Scam Sandwich, and you're about to watch a very disorienting call to two different tech support scammers who are impersonating Microsoft and working in the same call center. Sometimes I like to throw scammers curveballs as they're trying to steal Neld's money. And in this case, the curveball involved Neld floating the possibility of blackmailing her son's girlfriend, which prompted a discussion about religion and philosophy, which really went off the deep end. Have you ever seen the air? But it exists. Have you ever seen the Lord? No, but he, they exist. If you look outside and you see the, the trees blowing in, in the wind, that's evidence. Can you see the air with the naked eyes? It depends. It depends. You could, you could, you could see it with your naked eye. I almost guarantee you there's, there has to be some of those How quantum physicists you... that are able to do that. Or maybe there's a night I'm vision not talking about the quantum goggles or something you'd be able to see the wind or infrared i'm not uh, talking about any kind of gadgets at some point the scammer realized that he had just wasted a lot of his time and tried to hurry the scam along at the last minute but Nell hung up the phone in classic fashion okay dear no sounds good i'll talk to you later listen 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 no down the number bye bye no down. i'm still interacting with the second scammer in this call eric so if this thing ever continues i'll post a follow-up episode I do think I should mention here that Nell's religious beliefs do not reflect my own and that this call will hopefully be taken with large amounts of levity for both the religious and non-religious. As always, thank you all so much for watching this crazy content. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and clicking that like button. What is this yes, thing? This is the Microsoft scanner that I was... Let me tell you, this is the Microsoft okay. scanner yes. through this black box. I'm sorry, there, there se seems to be just a little bit of a delay, I think. I think that might be what's what's going wrong. Is because you, I think you say something, and then it's a, it takes a little while, and then I hear it, and then I respond to you, and then it takes a little while, and then, do you, do you, does that make sense? I, I don't know if that makes yeah. sense. I, I completely understand you, ma'am. Because okay. right now, you're connected to me over your phone, right? So what happened right now, whenever you say something, it takes like a few seconds to reach me out, and then I re uh, respond to it, and then it takes a few seconds to reach it to, out to you. And that that's is how we are, so like, uh, confusing. Getting, it really like, is just bizarre. I, I've never, I, you know, usually w when I talk to my to my friends, when we talk on, on the phone, mm -hmm. It's it's just immediate. I I hear them immediately. So this is a, a because, uh, this new is, way of uh, right now, doing things. I the guess. Now you're connected. Yes, right now you're connected with the okay. Microsoft server and speaking with one of the Microsoft technicians. And I am one of the like fraud and prevention team of Microsoft. So right now we are oh, in California. Oh, oh, oh I see. Yes, yes, yes. Where are you right now? I'm in Dallas, Texas. You said you're in California? Oh, you're in Texas. Yes. Right. All right. So that might be the lag because we uh, because of the distance. Okay. So, uh, now, uh, on, on the black box, hear me out properly, okay? Sure. Uh, first, I will say something. Go right ahead. I'm possible. sorry if I keep interrupting you. Know, uh, you. Is... All right. Don't worry. So... Uh, now, this black box that you can see, this is the Microsoft scanner, and this was the server that I was talking about. Whoa. Because right now, it is here, this uh, this laptop, and I will give you the commands that you have to oh, put in that black box. Oh, I see. I think I hand understand hand what's going switch. on. I think I get it now. That makes sense. Right. Right. And through which we oh, are going to so check Oh, so you're each on my computer? No, no. This is the scanner that I have opened up for you. Okay. Well, you uh, opened it. The, how how did you do? Oh, you you are con you're controlling my computer then, I guess, right? No, no. You don't you don't understand it. Let me oh, let I'm me tell you. Oh, I'm I'm sorry. This I am not great with this, this type is the of thing. I, I suppose. My end. Yes. 
this is the scanner that I opened from my end, and that scanner is opened on your computer and my computer as well. Uh -huh. Okay. So now I'm not able to see anything, and I'm not able to control anything. But we are sharing that black box right now. Okay. You can see that I'm typing oh, my name nice. on that black box. Can you see it? Uh. Can you see that I'm my name in that black box? Oh, you're typing Mark Stevens. Okay, Mark Stevens. I see. Right. So that now is... I will give you the command wow. for that black box. Never seen anything like that. <laughs> I will give you the Mark Stevens. Yes, ma'am, because you have never seen that kind of a pop up on your screen, anything like that before, right? I have not. I have not. Have you ever seen that okay. pop up before? No, I, I yeah, so do these... not think I have, but I could check with my son. Uh, he, I think he knows about, he's got a Nintendo Switch. Where is your son right now? He's at work. All right, don't worry. So now, uh, like, as I was talking that now we need to run a scan to check why you was getting that Microsoft alert. So for that, you need to type a command that I'm going to give you in that black box. Just type security scan on Windows on that black box. Oh, I'm sorry. Can you can you do that? Can you do it for me, please? I, I, I would really, I would no, really no, prefer if, if, if you I were able it, to do it for me. It would be wonderful. If I, okay. Listen to me. Um, if I do it from, yes, I'm saying if I do it from my end, it will scan my computer, not your. So you need to type it from your end. So you, your computer will be scanned, not mine. Oh, Oh, I see. Well, do, do you need the security updates as well? No, no. As this computer, oh, as I just need to do. Oh, connected. I see. I see. I'm sorry. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I, I just have to do it for my own computer. You know, for yes. a second, so I thought that uh, scan on Windows. For a second, I was think if I thought we were sharing the same computer. I didn't know if I was on I was maybe on your computer or if you were on mine or if it was the same thing. I, I just it's just so interesting. To no, me. no, right it's now, very interesting, very right cool. Right now, we're just sharing that black box. Yes, we're just sharing that black box, and how we are sharing it because you gave me the password and the ID. You remember the number and the password. That's oh, when. No. That's how you know I. What? My son that... told me I wasn't supposed to give anyone my passwords. Oh, no, this dang is not it. the password. I'm that's so... You know, I about. must have made a mistake. I'm sorry. I, don't, I just, you know, I, I'm, try, I'm trying, out. <laughs> trying to figure it out, and I'm just trying to figure. I don't know. Sure. Go ahead. Okay. Let's continue. Yes. Okay. So, as I told you, uh, the password and the ID that you gave me. That was not the thing that your son was talking about. This is the thing. Well, what was he talking gave, about? Just my normal we, Google, the Gmail. Talking about your banking credentials. He was talking oh, about your banking credentials. Okay. Your email credentials. Sounds good. Your... So now, now I want you to type over there in the black box. Type security scan on. And by Windows. the way, what happened to the pop up? Uh, it's still there, ma'am. Just minimize well, it. Well, I for can't you. see it. There. Oh, it's still there. You want me to open the? Oh, button? I see. Yes. You just made it s small, so I couldn't see it. Yes. Okay. Right. Mhm. Mm okay. What's the next step? All right, now go back to the black box again. Open the black box. Look at the middle bottom of the screen. There is a black box. Um, in the middle of the screen, is it one of these? The board board pane? No, in the bottom of the it's screen, ma'am. I'm, I'm not able to see your screen. I can only see the black box. Well, how do I see the black box? Look at the very bottom of your screen. There will be a black box over there, a tiny black box. This one? Is it this one right here? Yes. Oh. Yes, you need to open it up. Just click on that black box, okay. 
it disappeared. Right. I, oh, it's not a black box. It's a picture of a jaguar. And a, That's uh, not the black box cheetah. I'm talking about, ma'am. You're looking at someone okay. else. Just look at the very bottom where you can see this the is Google on Chrome. The bottom. Chrome it's icon. right here. It's the bottom. Can you do just it for me, please? You, you you opened it up before. Can you just open? Oh, there you go. Okay, and while you're at it, could you just type in what you need here? And then we can just kind of get on with it then. I told you already. I told you already. If I type it, then uh, my uh, sc computer will be scanned, what not happened? your. You need to type it from your end. Okay, I just type in uh, this. Security scan Security on Windows. Security scan and just press enter. No, do not okay. hit enter. It will automatically Hold go on. to the, the line. Security Where scan on Windows. A in. Oops. It says security is not recognized as an internal or well i just don't know what any of that nonsense says i were what it means i just i don't know you need to put the full sentence ma'am you need to put the full sentence as i'm typing it right now oh so you okay. can type it please continue to, yes please do that that's wonderful this does i mean you know it, no offense but I, it does seem like you should be doing this for me because you're from support I don't know what this is. I don't know what any of this. That's right. I can do it, uh, but is. I need your confirmation. Can I allow? Can I authorize your computer and can I do it for you? I've already. I've been asking you to I do it for me for the okay. past. I don't know how long this phone call has been, but yes, All please right. do you do what you on? need to do, and let's move it. Move it along, Please. okay? Hang on. Hurry up. Oh my goodness, what is all that? Oh, these that dogs That is scanning your computer, barking. and oh, now we geez. will see. Oh, the dogs are going crazy again. What is all... I can't read all of that. That's going by way too fast. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this. This is... Conf you know what? As confusing as it is, I'm having a whole lot of fun, and I thank you for doing this and for helping me, okay? Oh, it says, Banking Credential Haste. H-A-C-E-D. Okay, what, what does that mean? Haste mean? Haste mean that someone else was using it. Uh, so, no, uh, no, that's not what by, that, that's uh, not a word. That's not a word. Yes, ma'am, that's not a word. That, that this is, is a not a word. Hold on, let me look doing. up this word. That is, a, um, that is not a word. This is the command, okay? I'm just, I'm going to type it in so we can figure out what, uh, what it is. Hold on, haste. Did you mean hacked? Oh, I see. That's see, that is what I was talking about. That someone else might be using your banking oh, and credentials. It's misspelled. Just, just it's a misspelling. Just go ahead. No, ma'am. This haste means no. That this right now, word is a misspelled. Oh, look here, it's spelled right over here. Hacked. But then I see over here, I say, oh, that's a misspelling. I would like to speak to Bill Gates about that, please. Ma'am, this is not misspelled, ma'am. This is the word that we use. Let's see. No, see, no, you can no. See, I think that's the not, word that can't be right. That's not. Look, can you see? It says, hold on, let I me move this the, real I'm, quick. I'm moving it over here. Look, we can still see it, but look. It's even recommending that we, uh, that we change it to hacked. Ma I, I'm should I write a, 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 a letter to Mr. Gates? I'll say, 
Mr. Gates? Haste. Look, it's misspelled again. A and A and banking credential. What is that? A and because I type banking haste. credential. Just look over here. I'm typing haste ha again. Hacked. Oh, then haste. Haste again. Okay. Oh, dang it. Look, it's not even recognized. It's not even a command. I mean, it's literally nothing. It's just, just a random just look combination of uh, just letters, look you it type, sounds like. You typed his, then L. I didn't type just that. I don't type, his, I don't, I didn't do that. Anyway. Just hear me out. Okay. You can see. And then you will see the scan is going on. Well, I've already seen this three. This is now the third time I've seen. I don't know exactly. I don't know. Uh, couldn't couldn't tell you. Don't know. Checking banking and email. Well, how did it do that? It seems like I'd need to log in or something in order for it to be checking my. Oh, are you? You're from my bank. Is that it? No, ma'am. You have called the Microsoft number. Oh, look. It says H-A-C-E-D. What does it stand for? It says Hispanic American Center for Economic Development. Is that what that is? Ma'am, uh, do not go to the words. Uh, just check the scan. Oh. Uh, email and banking use. That's correct. That's right. I used email. I use email and banking. I do both of those. Now activities. go ahead. Okay, do one thing. Minimize, minimize everything, and there might be something coming up on your email and your banking. So just go ahead and check each and everything, and tell me if it's everything looks fine or not. You can minimize the black oh, box. Do you for want now, me to? So I'll just go down to my okay. bank real quick. Do you want me to call you back after I talk to my bank? No, you can just check your bank online and then hold email on. Let me give him a call screen. here. Just check. one second. Hold on. Let's see. Um, just hear me out. Hold first on. Of just all. give me one moment. Um, ta -ta 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 -ta. Hear me uh, out, Let me Mom. see here. Okay. I will need to, yes, I will, should I conference call in the bank? All right, you can do it. Oh, and what's that? Know, what do you see? What was that? You Was that the camera or so? What, what was that? Is it plugged in? It says, oh, what is that? No cameras are attached. Why do you need to see the camera, honey? Ma'am, I'm talking to you and you're not responding to me. I'm saying you need to check each and everything that you do, like your email and your banking. What do you need from me? I've been trying to help you. Try to restart. Just try, just try to restart the computer, miss. Well, why don't you just the restart the computer? You do it. Why should... How could I restart the computer, miss? I'm not connected with your computer. Just try to restart the computer. Well, then, That's why well, I'm telling you. Because well, right why did I give you the code your if you're not connected to my computer? Listen, you have given me the code. With the help of that code, I will. Connect you. I can only connect your computer with the Microsoft Safe and Secure server. I cannot computer connect you. I cannot connect with your computer from my computer. That's why I suggest you to restart the computer. If you see that well, the screen then who is was going clicking on and around on, again, on it, try to uh, I clicking That's around on you. my the computer. computer earlier. Oh, what That's is... That's why I'm saying you restart the computer. Oh, okay. That's you why I'm just saying want you me restart to the computer. restart the computer. You keep just hold down want the me to keep, restart yes. the computer. Keep hold down I the... see. Keep hold down the power button. Keep hold down the power button and the power uh, button. Let the machine Where get off it? and then turn it on. Is yes. it the over power here? Button. Let the machine get off and turn it on again. Where's? Can you tell me where to click? Where do I click on it? Uh, do you on your? Uh, is this a laptop or it's a desktop? Well, it's a Dell. Uh, I know that. 
I know my no, son it's, it's gave a me a Dell computer, and I put the television set on my desk. And there is a there's a big boxy looking thing. It's on the floor. Okay, do you see a CPU over there, the central processing unit, uh, the big box? I don't box. know what that is. There is a I power know. button over there. He, listen, there is a power button over a there. A bit Click above on that my pay button. grade, uh, because I don't really know what that means. I'm saying, do you see a black, uh, uh, there's a big box, you told me, that it's uh, under the desk. Big box. So big that box. is the CPU. Okay, that's the CPU. Let, hold on, let me write this down real quick. I, th I feel like I'm going to need to remember that. And, and you said it was the CPU? Listen, miss. Is there somebody in your home? No. My son is at work, Nobody but he's not going to visit me today because he has to go on a date with his girlfriend. And she's got lots, lots of tattoos, and I really hope he does not marry All the her. Way, all, the, <laughs> all, the very best, all the very best to your son. Oh, well, thank you. He's a very nice boy. All right, that's great, miss. He's going for a date. And you'll make sure that he will not marry that girl because you don't like that girl, right? Well, let's just say that she's got tattoos, and I'll, I'll leave it at that. Uh, you know, back in my day, if someone gets tattoos, that means they were, uh, they've been to prison. They've been to prison? Well, ba Both? that's what it used to mean if you got the... Uh, uh, the only place you used to be able to get a tattoo it was from prison. Okay. So is your son is fine now? Is he fine? What 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 well, my son never went to prison and my son doesn't have any tattoos because he's a nice boy. But his girlfriend I don't know about her. She says she hasn't been to prison, but I don't I'm not sure I believe her. She uh, so, uh, honestly seems to be you, a bit of a did harlot. You talk with... Oh, oh my you, God. Yes. So didn't you talk with your son that this girl is not good for you and you, you must leave this girl? Well, he, he says, tell him? he says, mom, lay off. I'm, I'm a grown, I'm a grown boy. I don't, I can make my own decision. And I say, well, that's not entirely sh true because he still he doesn't even know how to buy groceries he has to he says mom what, what what if i want to make a bowl of chili and i i have to say well you do this and i i give him my recipe which by the way chili has really changed um that you know he don't even know how to buy a groceries well and he, yet he has a girlfriend Yes, and I and to to be frank, I think that she is the one that's buying all the groceries now, because he doesn't uh, call me as much as he used to. All right. So your son is uh, out of the state. No, is no, he he's you, he's right he... down the road. He's just at work. Okay. But he. So he will not gonna come to you. He's at work. Okay. He's at yes, work. and then he's later work, he's he works. he's got a date with that. Uh, with that woman, with that, with she that has lady. one of those shirts. So it says mean, yeah. it says "nasty woman" on it. She has a shirt that says "nasty woman." I don't know what that's about. She's nasty woman. Well, I didn't that say it, but she's got a shirt that says it. That she is a nasty woman, but she that girl is going to be your daughter-in-law. Well, I I I hope not. And, you know, maybe you could help me uh, try to, maybe we could pin something on her, or maybe we could manipulate my son into thinking she's a bad person. Because, you know, she actually is very kind to me. She, she's actually very nice. But I think there's something going on. She's got those tattoos. I don't like that very much. I am a child of the 50s. Okay, even the, when the 60s folks came out, I said, nope, that's, I do not like that. I said, there's people taking the, uh, 
the LSD or whatever it is. And I said, that's not for me. I'm not oh, doing that. That lady, that lady is a drug addict. She take LSD. What? You told me that that lady is a drug addict. She takes LSD. Oh no! Well, she. Uh, well, I. I'm not sure. She, she's actually very nice. She makes a, a good salary. She makes over a hundred and twenty thousand dollars per year, and she. Uh, she seems to be. You know what? Maybe it's. Maybe she's actually a, a a great person. But I see those tattoos, and I think she's probably killed someone at some point. Listen, miss. Please don't judge a book by its cover. Have you ever heard this story? Don't judge a, oh, don't judge a book. I'm sorry. Can, can, can you, you speak up just a little bit, please? I, I can't hear you. Don't judge. Listen, don't judge a book by its cover. You cannot judge a person with her face, with her tattoos. She might be a, n a nice lady. So she might be a good lady. And you think that she made some kind of different tattoo which you don't like. So don't judge a book by its cover. If your son likes her, if your son wants to spend her life, uh, his life with her, so it's okay. Well, you know, says you. But listen, I, I I come from a different age. Listen, it's it's. I'm sure he'll be fine. He's probably having premarital sex and all the rest of it. That's none of. I guess you're right. That's none of my business. But I'm. If you could help me come up with something that we could pin on her and make it seem like to my son that she is a a, a bad person, you know, maybe we could, I don't know what we could do, but I really would like to not see her anymore, even though she is very, very nice to me. She's she's actually delightful, to be, to be honest. She's actually quite wonderful. But... Like I said, the tattoos do not bode well. I'll say that much. Oh, please, please speak up. I think you, you've disappeared. I can't even hear you at this point. You're a nice woman. I totally understand your concern, miss. You're a nice woman, but the thing is that you belong from the different era, and your son is from the different era. So that's why your thinking cannot be matched. That's the reason. Oh. Well, you know, maybe you're right. So, d do you have tattoos? Yeah, I do have the tattoos. Oh, my I have goodness the tattoo gracious. of Jesus. Of, Christ, of Christ. I have the tattoo of Christ in my right hand. Oh, oh, you... Oh, well, you know what? I, I tend to make exceptions if if they're following Jesus. If it's a Jesus tattoo or it's if uh, the Virgin Mary or something like this, or maybe it's something, if it's a depiction on someone's back of the act of revelations with all the hellfire and the explosions going off and the angels coming out of the, the heavens, then I say that's okay. But she's got one of those Buddhist tattoos. And I don't like that. Oh, Buddhist tattoos. Those, yep. So that means if she had made, if she had made an, a Buddhist tattoo, so that means her energies might be connected with that, with their energies, because they were also considered as a lord, like good Jesus. Oh, wait, what? No, there's only I, I, I know the Bible, and there's only one Jesus. I am the way, the light, and the truth. And that's, there's only one of those, I'll tell you that. Yeah, you totally, uh, totally understand your concern, miss. You're right in your way. You're right in your path. But the thing is that, can you, how can you disagree with that? That they are also, they have also their uh, culture. Uh, if we talk about the, uh, like, Eastern countries, if we talk about the Middle East, they have also the different culture uh, on which they praise La Buddha, and uh, there are different kind of uh, lords. Like, if we, have you ever heard about the Greek mythology? They have Zeus and all. So they have different yes, kind of lords. Yes, and that is, In the that is East, they demonic. Used to, yeah. They are the Greeks are demons. What? Well, they had the Zeus, 
That was a false, uh, according to the book of Leviticus, that was a false god, mm -hmm. and they are going to go to mm -hmm. hell. They're going straight to hell. Do you understand? Okay. Okay, because I haven't read that. Okay. I've just heard about that. I haven't, re I haven't read that. Thank you so much for telling me that, that he is a false god. Well, Zeus is, I know that much. May, you know what? I've met some nice Buddhists in my day. I'm not going to lie. They were very nice to me. They had, they had mm -hmm. lots of things to say that really helped me with my own personal well-being. And, but they also took LSD. They were, they were called acid heads from the 60s, and they used to follow around this group called the Grateful Dead, and that yes. is a really rough well, bunch of guys, you. motorcycle guys, scary guys, Correct. wearing the tie-dye television let shirts. Let me explain you. I why don't like used, that. Yes, let me explain you why they used to take LSD, because LSD changed, altered the per perception of mind. They alter the perception of reality. That's why they used to take the LSD as a treatment. They need to connect uh, with the energy spiritually. That's why people used to take LSD. Have you ever been to NASA? Whenever you've been to NASA, at the outside, at the doorstep of the NASA, you will see that there is a statue of Lord Shiva. Have you ever heard about the Lord Shiva, the Indian god? There is a uh, statue of Indian god Lord Shiva in the nat Nataraj form. So that is also energy. Oh, oh, wait a second. So you're, you're, oh, you're, you're saying, you're speaking towards a deeper philosophical truth here that maybe we're all connected and that we're all made of the same material? Is, is that kind of what you're getting at? If you're going to connect with the energy, if you are a spiritual guy, if you're going to connect with the energy, and you also know that energy cannot be created, nor it can be destroyed. It can neither be created, nor it can be destroyed. So all the energies are same. They have a different form. Like, have you ever heard about the magnetic energy, kinetic energy? Every energy has the different form, but the energy is same. You cannot create the energy. Well, I turn on my heater, and it makes heat. So I don't know about that listen if you're gonna meditate have you ever heard about the meditation well I pray to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ that's what I do okay so you pray to the Lord okay but the thing is that if you need to connect with the Lord you the only way to connect with the Lord is the meditation okay if you're going to sit back and relax and stay calm with the whole of your mind and the body and the soul, okay? And then if you're trying to meditate by closing your eyes, and uh, then you will see a different kind of change in your entire life, okay? You will see that your soul is, try is getting connected, is making a connection with the energy of the load. Well, so... <sighs> So you're basically telling me that my that my son's girlfriend maybe she isn't all that bad. Is is, is this what you're kind of getting at here? Listen, if your son if your son says that she's a good girl for me, then she might be a good girl. If your son says that she's she isn't a good girl, she's just for a time pass or something, then. You also know, you also understand what I'm trying to say. I don't want to say that thing over the call, miss. Because okay. you're like my mother. I see. Well, I, I pre and you know what? You're very nice, and I, I appreciate you talking to Thank me. Thank you Just so much. Because, you know, Thank you so much. I, I do love my son, and I do want him to be happy. I just, I see those tattoos, and I think she had to have just slit someone's throat at some point. She must have killed somebody. Listen, if you think that she must have killed somebody, then uh, you have, do you have a proof of that? Well, There's no. Many, the difference between thinking and the proof and the eye evidence. Do you have any eye evidence of that girl that she had killed someone? Do you have a proof of that? How you can consider it as a criminal? 
Well, I just, you know what? I, I haven't seen her do it, but I have a hunch. I'll say that. I have a hunch. Okay. And uh, you told me that she made a Buddha statue. So what I tell you, that she used to uh, praise the Buddha, the Lord Buddha. He was also a Lord. So you better do one thing. If you don't think that he was a Lord, then try to learn. Uh, learn for the Buddha who was the Buddha who was the pro because I what I believe the Buddha was the incarnation of Lord Vishnu he was from the India the Buddha is, uh, the Buddha is from the India here his real name was Gautam Siddharth oh he was the you know what I have you ever heard, heard have you yes. ever been to India and my son's girlfriend she gave me this book it's called Siddhartha is that what you're talking about? Yeah, correct. His real name, the Lord Buddha, real name was Siddhartha. His real name was Gautam Siddhartha. So he was from the India, and he was considered as the incarnation of Lord Vishnu. Have you ever heard about the Lord Rama, Lord Krishna, and after those incarnation, the Lord Buddha has taken the incarnation? No, no, no. Uh, I I haven't read Siddhartha yet, but uh, apparently he was off fornicating without being married during part of the book. That's what my 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 pastor told me. He said, "There's lots of fornicating in that book. Don't read that book, Neld." He told me. Okay, your yep. pastor told you. He did tell me. He did said, he "Do see, not read Siddhartha. It's that? got." Carnal he, desires in it. I did, said, I don't know what carnal means. Did, he, did you ever, did you ever seen a god in your life? Have you ever met with a god? I speak with my is Lord and Savior every pastor? night, and I say, I thank him for my food. How do you? Did you ever see the air? Have you ever seen the air? But it exists. Have you ever seen the Lord? No, but he, they exist. Well, have you ever seen? Uh, you can see evidence of anyone? of air, or like wind. You know, if you look outside and you see the the trees blowing in in the wind, that's evidence. Can you see the air with the naked eyes? Can you see the air with the naked eyes? It depends. It depends. You could, you could, you could see it with your naked eye. I almost guarantee you. There's, there has to be some of those How quantum physicists you... that are able to do that, or maybe there's a night I'm vision not talking about the quantum goggles I'm or not... something. You'd be able I'm to see talk... the wind or infrared. I'm not uh... talking about any kind of gadgets. Listen, miss. I'm not talking about any kind of gadgets. Have you ever seen the air blowing with the naked eyes? Have you ever met with the Lord? No, you cannot met with the Lord because they will not going to come after you. You can only met with the Lord after you die. Your soul will going to connect with them. Okay? If you're going to die, your soul will going to merge with them, with their energy. That's the reason. That's, these are the teaching of Lord Buddha. So what I suggest you, do not listen to anyone. Do not listen to anyone whosoever says you that he was a false god, he was that, he was this. Do not. Just think yourself who, just read for him, just think yourself who was he. What are his teachings? Oh. He, uh, he spent his entire life for the spiritual growth. He spent his entire life for the spiritual well, growth. Tell me this. Did he Don't have sexual relations infect? with a woman out of wedlock? No. No. I think he did. You? It's in the book Siddhartha. See, that's what my pastor, my pastor told no, me. No, that's wrong. No, that's wrong. Did you ever, uh, did you ever uh, like, read that book? No, but it's By sitting right here. It's sitting right next to me then and my desk believe, here. Then how you can believe? Uh, how you can believe the third person? How you can believe the third person? If you haven't read the book. Well, my pastor. How do you believe the third person? My pastor is a very nice man. No, he's, he's a third person. He is a third person. He is a third person. He is a third person. How can you a, believe him? He's a handsome young man as well. I'll tell you that. I'm not talking about that he's a handsome young man or he's an old, old man. Whosoever is he, 
Did you ever read that book by your own? No. Nope. Whatever he's telling you, that is false. Whatever he's telling you, that is false. Tell him whenever he says you that he was false god, he got a sexual, uh, like whatever you told me. Tell him, do you have a proof of that? Ask him, do you have a proof well, of that? Well, I actually asked him about him? that, and he, Did he you watch held him? up the the book of, uh, opened he the can't give you Bible the to the book of Job, and he said, this mm -hmm. is my proof. And I said, the book of Job is really weird, uh, Pastor. That's uh, actually one of the weirder ones. I don't know. I, and to be frank, I, I don't even listen, know. I don't understand do not the book of anyone. Job. Nowadays, or the, the problem of happening? evil in the context of the Christian uh, mythology. I, I really don't understand. That's the one thing about Christian mythology I don't understand. Like, why is God a wrathful God? Why does he hurt people? That doesn't seem right. Why would he do that? Who hurt the people? Who hurt the people? Nobody well, hurt, no, in the Old none of Testament, the God, can hurt the people. God did if all anybody, kinds of if things. If anybody See? is a God, he cannot hurt the people. God well, always take incarnation to help the people. They, can, they do not take the incarnation to hurt the people. Who told you that? Well, to be fair... In, make me talk with that guy. Make, the, me, make me talk with that guy. In the Bible... I will tell him, I will gonna tell him, what is the philosophy? That's all wrong. That's all wrong, miss. You're what? reading a wrong book. Well, okay, You're so... You're reading a wrong book. So, in the Old Testament, though, um, he was very wrathful. He would do awful things to people. Uh, God would. And uh, and it it is it is it is pretty wild some of the things that he's no, that he's that done. Wrong. Yes, and that is wrong, Miss. That and, is wrong. Well, no, that is wrong. If you need to read about the Lord Buddha, if you need to know about who is the Lord Buddha, then Google who is the Lord Buddha. You will get know who was the Lord Buddha. Okay, if you need to know who was the Lord Buddha. So, um, okay, then Google it. Do not listen to anybody. Do not listen to anybody. You can Google that. Who was the Lord Buddha? And you will get no. Who was the Who was the Gautam Siddhartha? I'm I'm going to read you one of my favorite Bible verses, and I've memorized it. And it says it says this. It says, "The Lord is a jealous and avenging God. The Lord is avenging and wrathful." The Lord takes vengeance on his adversaries and keeps wrath for his enemies. The That's Lord totally wrong. is slow That's to totally anger wrong. and great in power, and the Lord will be by no means clear the guilty. Who can stand before his indignation? Who could endure the heat of his anger? His wrath is poured out like fire, and the rocks are broken into pieces by him. The Lord is good. A stronghold in the day of trouble. He knows those who take refuge in him. But with an overflowing flood, he will make a complete end to his adversaries and will pursue his enemies into darkness. Yeah, you are right. That is written in the book. That is written in the Bible. But the thing is that if you're gonna if you're gonna write if you're gonna write something wrong for the other Lord, that is wrong. That is wrong. That means you are not the you are the false Lord. If you're gonna write a wrong thing for the another Lord. Oh, I see. I see what you say. Listen, nowadays, nowadays, what is going on? Like. Uh, Every people, they do not think by their own mind. They do not think by their own heart. They keep on listening to other guys, the third person, whatever they say. Okay? Just think by yourself. Just think by yourself. Why is he, uh, why is he discouraging the Lord Buddha? Okay? Why? What's the reason behind that? I don't know. Do one he, thing. He's got about, his own problems. Okay. He's, Just do one. First oh, of all, miss. Okay. Okay. First of all, miss. To me, first of all, Miss, open Ultra Viewer on your computer, okay? Okay. Open the Ultra Viewer on your computer. I'm just gonna put on. Open the Ultra Viewer icon. 
Mr. Rod Parsley here uh, while I do this. Okay. Open the Ultra Viewer icon on your computer and tell me the ID and the password. When he saw the crowd. Okay. Uh oh. And tell me the ID and the password of the Ultra Viewer and I will show you. Okay. What is right and what is wrong? Okay. You want me to tell you the the ID? Correct. And and honey. You are. You seem like you're very smart, and I've really enjoyed talking to you. What is your name again? I, I apologize. I didn't remember the first time. No problem. My name is Eric Harrison. Eric. Eric Harrison? Correct. Oh, that's a wonderful name. I'm working with the Microsoft. Yes, thank you so much. I'm working with the Microsoft since last eight years, and I'm a level three technician over here. Wow! Wow! You you have must be you must be working very hard. Not the go enjoy the weather crowd. Thank you so much for that, Miss. I, got a I take it as a compliment. Thank yes. you so much for that. The, my kids got a ball game. Okay. So. Uh oh yes, my ID. Tell me the ID. Okay. The ID is five eight when Jesus mm -hmm. seven six eight the people that he paid mm -hmm. nine twenty two actually be in church on Sunday night. Okay, and what's the password? Password is when Jesus looked out oh. and saw everybody uh, hold on just, team just one moment. I'm sorry. Oh yes. The password is nine eight eight one. When you gonna get mad enough to get All right. off your Okay, allow me for a minute. When you gonna get angry enough at what hell is attempting to do in your life? Rod Parsley, he seems like he's a little bit angry to me, but you know, to each their own. Is in this land to glorify deviant behavior. Can you lower down the volume, which is uh, which is on the back end? Which is running in the back end? Can you lower down the volume? Do what? Can you lower down the volume, which is running in the back end? Yes, yes, I can. I will. I will proceed by doing that. Okay. Okay, there you go. Of abortion clinics being put in Pickerington by the Dairy Queen. Enough. Okay, is that better? Enough. Listen, uh, have you opened the uh have you switched on your uh TV? Yes, yes, I I put on Pastor Rod Parsley. And he is just, uh, just, just turn off the TV. Absolutely. He's just, yelling. Just turn off the TV. He really is he seems yes, very that's what I'm angry. Telling you, just turn off the TV. Just oh. turn off the TV. Well, turn off. Turn I'll turn. Off. I'll turn it down. How about that? Okay. Is that better? No, no, no. Just turn it off. Turn off the TV. Just focus on the computer now. Because your computer has detected us with some kind of Trojan spyware over there. So uh, we're going to guide you with these steps, how you can go ahead and fix the computer, okay? Okay. All right, now just do one thing. Hit the Windows key with the letter R as in Romeo. Oh, c can you speak up, honey? Sorry. You keep on getting quiet. I'm not sure. I'm not sure why. No problem. Are you in front of the uh, black box, the command prompt? As I can see over here, because I have connected your computer with the server, what we find out that your cell phone and telephone lines are hacked. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? No, I'm not kidding you. It's serious. Your cell phone oh. and telephone lines are hacked. Somebody has hacked your computer. Oh no, 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 no. 
So let me do one thing for you over here. Uh, let me connect you with this secure line number. With the help of that, no one could be able to listen to our conversation anymore, okay? So what is your number? Uh, the number which I can see in front of my computer screen is five. Is that correct? That is correct, honey. All right, so is this the cell phone number or is this the landline number? Uh... Oh, this is just this is my well. I've I've got a flip phone, so that I mean it kind of functions as both. Phone. Okay. My cell phone. son it's told cell me phone. that I did not need one of those landlines anymore. Is what he said to me. I don't know if that's true or not, though. To to be honest, I, I'm not sure. Okay, no problem. So let me do one thing for you over here. Let me call you from the safe and secure line number and get ready to answer my call. Next call will be from the Microsoft, okay? Okay. You can disconnect over this line and I'm calling you on your cell phone, all right? Next call will be from the Microsoft. Make sure you will answer that call, all right? Okay. Do you have any another number with you? Do you have any another number like cell phone or landline? Nope. No, okay. So you can disconnect over this line. I'm calling you on your cell phone, okay? Okay. Hey God. Come to me right now. Oh right now. Come to me right now. Now. Oh my Jesus. Get him up. 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 The anointing of William Branham is coming on you now. Hello, are you there? Hello? I'm about to run! Shout and thank God for the anointing! Don't destroy, burden, removing, body healing, hello? Hello? Yeah, hi, uh, yeah, hi, miss. This is Eric calling you on the behalf of the Microsoft. Well, hello, Mr. Eric. Yeah, hi. So right now you're connected in the Microsoft Safe and Secure Line number, so no one could be able to listen to our conversation anymore. Okay. Okay. All right. So uh, over your computer screen. Oh, uh, is someone to listening the to the uh, to is was someone listening to us? No. Now nobody could able to listen to us because right now you're connected with the Microsoft Safe and Secure Line number. Okay. And okay. That is, this is the end. This is the encrypted number, Miss. I'm uh, I'm getting a disturbance. So could you please switch off your TV? Could you please turn off your TV? Well, it's part of my ritual. I would really prefer not to, if it if it's going to be if that's okay with you. Listen, uh, listen, Miss. I'm getting a distortion. That's why I'm suggesting you please switch off the TV for a while. Okay, you just want me to turn off my television. Correct. Okay. Hold on, let me get my remote control. Okay, I turned it down a little bit. But still, I can hear the voice coming out. He is... Still, I can hear the voice. Rod Parsley is just going around. He's just... He's just, like, tapping people on the head, and they're falling backwards. And he's, I guess, he's healing them or something. I wish someone would do that to me. That's wonderful. All right, uh, no problem. Uh, just do one thing. Uh, look over your computer screen. Okay. Just type it over this C as in Charlie, D as in Donald, and put it two dots as a period. You said to put. I need to put Donald in there? No, no, no. Donald with a J? No, no, no. No, no, no. No, miss. Uh, what's the name, miss? May I have your name? My name is Neld Harris. Can you spell it for me? It is N E L D. N is in Nancy. E is an elephant. L is in uh, I don't know what's uh, love. I suppose. L is in L is in Lima. D is in Donald. 
Donald. Well, well, it's Donald. It's, it's the as in Donald. Donald. Right. Do it. Right. 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 It's just because before you said Donald, and I said I don't even know what that what that word is. Okay. No problem. It's noun. And what's the last name? My last name is similar to your name. It's Harris. But it's ju your last Harris. name is Harrison, and my last name is just Correct. Harris, just as is. All right, no problem. Okay, so, uh, can you help me out with the zip code? What? Can you help me out with your zip code? Uh, well, oh, you want my zip code? Well, of course, of right. course. Yes, 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 of course. Okay, are you, do you, are you ready? Just hold on. It's seven five two zero oh, six. Hold on. The zip code is seven five two. Hello. C can you speak up, yes. honey? The zip code is seven five two. Seven five two zero six. All right, no problem. Okay, so all right. Have you typed the letter C? What? Have you typed in the letter C? Yes, I can type it. Is that what you want me to now, type? Now type in the letter D as in David. Oh, and and also Eric. Uh, J just to let you know, in about 20 minutes, I, I need to run to the vet, okay? Where you need to run? I have to go to the veterinarian. My chihuahua has an illness. He's got some type of bacterial infection. Uh, okay, no problem. He I is actually care. very sick, uh, my, my, my chihuahua. And it is, it, is concer it is pretty concerning, and that's, I've been... I've been praying for for him as well. All right, no problem. Well, maybe I should okay, meditate. Put, maybe I should meditate instead. Maybe, possibly. No I don't problem. Know. You can do that. No okay. problem. You can do that. Now put two dots over there. Two dots. Two periods. Two periods. Okay. Dot. Dot. Okay. Dot. Hit enter. Hit enter. Okay, I've now done it. Now repeat this command again. Repeat this command again. C D dot dot. dot 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 dot. Yes. Repeat this command again. Type this C command D again. C D dot dot. dot. I, okay, Ho hold on. It's, so it's C D dot dot. Dot dot. Yes, I have repeated it. Is that what you wanted me to do? No, you need to type this command again. Oh, do you want me to type it? Oh, okay. Correct. C D dot D oh dot e hold on just one moment uh, I'm sorry I just give me one second uh, this oh, oh okay so just okay there it is it's got the two dots oh it looks like okay. you clicked it for me I, thank you so much Okay, now type in over there D as in David. D? I've D got it. D as in David. Okay, D. D as in David. Okay. I as in Indiana. I as in Indiana. Yes. R as in Romeo. Okay. Now type in the letter S as in Sunday. Sunday. No, no, no. S as in Sunday. Only oh. S as in Sunday. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry about that. Oh, whoa. Now, it is a root scan, which you see in front of the computer screen. And after the end of the scanning, you will see the scan results. Can you help me out with the scan results? Yes, it says scan results. Or do you want me to read everything before that? There's a lot of stuff going on up there. I don't know you what You need it to is. read. Yes, you need to read that out. Okay. So starting at the top, it says laguerre.py. Well, I, I suppose I'm not reading the uh, 
No, no, no. Uh, uh, zero read it, seven. Uh, read it from the bottom. Zero listen, four, miss. which actually is July the fourth, which is Independence listen, Day. Listen, miss. Listen, oh. miss. Oh, oh, oh. Listen, miss. Okay. Read from the bottom. Read from the very bottom of that. It says. The scan Ma results. Marketplace, China dot Pornhub. The full, the full re scan results. It says before scan results. It says C colon backslash, mm -hmm. and then one of those. I don't even know the name of that. What is the name of that thing? I don't know. But yeah, and then it says scan results. Mm -hmm. Can you help me out with the scan results? Oh, do you want me to read everything after that? Okay. Correct. Okay, it says Windows Security Firewall Disabled Unauthorized Pornhub and Bet on Beton Line? Beton Line? Beat Betone Line or uh, I don't know what that word is. It says login detected. Pre authorized transactions detected. Location, Pornhub.China. Is that it? Yes, read out the whole result. User SSN leaked. Vouchers purchased using user credentials. Location, Pornhub. China marketplace. Some Holy Ghost chaos. Oh, yeah. You know what? I used to sing. I used to sing in high school, and that woman is flat. She can't sing very well. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so the scan results, which you told me that uh, Windows Security Firewall disable. Yes. And uh, what is what is a firewall? What is that? It's a kind of a protection. Okay. Hello. Yes, I'm still here. Okay. What is the next right, so step Windows here? Security what? firewall disable, unauthorized spawn hub and better online login detected on your computer and vouch yes. somebody has purchased some kind of okay. vouchers using your banking credentials. A voucher? So your banking okay, is at, I see. Yes, so your banking credentials is at risk. So what I suggest you right now, open up your, uh, check with your financial institution and check over there whether you see any kind of transaction of even a single dollar or a few cents, then do let me know about it. I'll report it for you, okay? You just, you just want me to go down to my bank? Uh, listen, you need to check everything with your bank only on the computer. Not anywhere oh, else. Okay. You, you, okay. You you just you just want me Close to log in on my computer? Correct. Correct. Miss Close this window and open up your bank account and check over there whether you see any kind of transaction of even a single dollar or a few cents, then do let me know about it, okay? You can exit out of this window. Oh my What? Uh, yeah, I, I I don't, I don't understand. Um. Listen, I'm telling you right now, your banking credentials is at stake. Somebody has access to your bank account and quickly open up your bank account right now only on the computer to check everything is okay over there or not. If, if you see something suspicious, then do let me know. I will report it for you. If you don't see any suspicious, then also do let me know, okay? Okay, so how do I do that? What am I? You can I X out of this window first. You can X out of this window first. What is that? Oh, just click the X button. Correct. Okay. Now open hey, uh, Microsoft. What X happened and go to? to the what happened to the? Uh, oh yes. Okay. 
What happened to the picture on my um, on my television screen? I'm I'm not sure about it. I'm I can only guide you with the computer, not with your television. Oh, I'm sorry. I meant on my computer. I had a picture of of my of my husband's naval battleship okay. on my computer, and it okay. seems right to be now, a, like a is connected with the dark right now, your bank is or a dark with the blue. Uh, dark right now, blue your computer uh, is connected with the color server. That's why on my computer. Listen, miss, right now your computer is connected with the Microsoft server. That's why you cannot be able to see the picture of your husband. That's the reason. Well, I, I don't understand why it took the picture away. Are you able to put it back, please? Yeah, you will get the picture back. After some time, you will get the picture back, okay? Oh, okay. L l l let me check my uh, text message. Just give me one moment. Sure, take your time. When? When did Jesus okay. Get mad? When send the code. It's going to send, I guess. Oh, okay. Let me see. surviving the last three months on an average of two hours sleep a night. I know that. And something has happened. You are not diminished. You are increased. Hello? Yes, I'm still here. I'm still here. Okay, what's the next step? So, uh, just check with all of your transaction over there. Someone's to think right now. Where's our wife? Um, Where our check your past 48, 72 hours transaction. Okay. Check your past 72 hours transaction. Then I will connect your call with your bank. Okay? They will provide you the new information. Okay, I just. All right. Yep. I grab a hub. Yep. That all looks to be. That looks to be normal to me. Check with every each and every of your transaction, Miss. Well. I mean, the, the this is the this is everything that happened today, so it looks okay. Okay. Uh, do you do you use only single account or do you are you the user of the multiple account? Nope, I just have one account. My only son one account. Is told this a me checking? Is this I did a not need to have multiple accounts. Is, this a is what he is told this a me. Checking? So is this the checking or it's saving? What? Is this the checking or it's saving account? This is a checking account. Okay. So do you have any saving account? If you do have the saving account, check with the saving account as well, okay? Nope. Nope? Okay. But according to us, miss, the right, uh, the situation over here, miss, right now your data is at stake. So what I suggest you right now, because we both are on the secure line, right now no one could be able to listen our conversation. So what I'm going to do, uh, you need to provide me the toll-free number of your bank. So I will connect your call with the bank, talk to them that the hacker attacked all of your devices. Your cell phone and telephone lines are hacked. Mr. Eric Harrison from the Microsoft connected your call with the bank and tell them to secure the account, okay? Because there are hackers over there. You do not need to visit anywhere. Just talk to them. They will gonna secure your account. Okay. Just head. To, you want me to go to my bank or my my no, branch no, store? No, you do not. No. Where? Uh, how far is the local branch for your home? About, I don't know, twenty minutes or so. Okay. You do not need to visit to the bank. Okay. I will connect your call with your bank directly over the secure line, and I'll be getting disconnected from the call. You need to talk to them. You need to tell them that uh, 
your account, your devices has been hacked right now and Microsoft people connected your call with the bank. Okay, because there are hackers working over the account. I've got about the, uh, computer 10 minutes left computer until well. I need to go, but we can certainly pick it up afterward if we can't fix it before then, right? Listen, listen, the situation is here is very, very critical. Miss, well, you first need to, to be talk fair, with the my chihuahua mm -hmm. is in critical condition himself. I, I have to go down to the vet. He has a uh, yeah, you bacterial can. infection. You, and I you can. will listen to be me. going listen to, me, to the vet in about listen, 10 listen minutes. Got it, Buster? Listen to me. Listen, miss. Listen to me. Now listen to me very properly. The situation over here is very critical. Just talk to them and tell them the whole scenario. They will going to secure your account. Do okay? you That's have a it. dog? It Do you know what it's like to have I, a, a loved uh, animal have, in your home? I have. I have a dog, miss, but the situation hey, over here is a very critical. Hey, you know if what? You're gonna... If listen, mm -hmm. I, I, this is important to me. I need to fix my banking stuff, but I listen. Ab above all else comes family, and my chihuahua is family, and he is very sick. And they said he might not live. He said he might not live, and I have to go down there. He's got an infection. No problem, miss. You can you can go down. But right now, just talk to the bank and tell them that secure your account and okay. I, have a, I, I have to go for the regular checkup of my dog. Okay, so they okay. will go to secure your account in the back end. Okay. All right. Okay, so uh, can you help me out with the toll free number? 1 800 432 1000. Just hold on. It's. Uh, hold on, give me a moment. It's one eight hundred four three two one zero 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 one zero zero zero. Okay. Yes, I will connect your call correct. with the bank. After having a word with the bank, you can give me a call back in this number. Okay. Okay. All right. So I will connect your call with the bank. So just be on the call till the time. Okay. Okay for holding the line miss are you there yeah but i gotta head out here pretty quick okay so you told me that you need to run to the bar to your uh for the dog so uh where are you going may i know where you're going i'm going, going down the, the street to my veterinarian veterinarian okay and how much time will it take for you i'd say it'll probably take about an hour okay all right, so no problem. Just stay connected over the call. I'm connecting your call with the bank, okay? You have a cell phone. You can uh, walk with them while you can talk with them while you will walking downstairs, okay? No, I need to get my things together, so I'll be hanging up the phone here momentarily. Okay. So, uh, what would the uh, what would be the best call back time? Should I give you a call? Well, it's it's 3.24 my time. Please give me a call in, in about, I don't know, f uh, just let's just call it 4.30 Central Time. So about one hour from right now, you could just give me a call. Okay, so you want me to call around 4.30 Central Time? Yes, please. That's in about one after hour. After an hour? Yes. After an hour, okay. All right, so I will call you after an hour, okay? Okay. Okay. Bye bye. Take Thank care. you. And bye. make sure you will answer my call. Okay, I okay. will do it. Thank you. All right. And do you want me to uh do you want me to tell to the bank do you want me to put down the mail to your bank so the bank person will call you directly on your cell okay. phone? Okay. Take care, all right? Yeah, sure. No, I'm just asking. Do you okay. want me to put bye down bye. the mail to Hello? Hello? Yeah, hi. Uh, this is Eric. May I know your first and the last name? Yes, my name is Neld Harris. Oh, hi, Miss Nell. How are you doing? How is your dog now? The dog is okay. He had a some type of bacterial infection, and they put some gunk. Oh, my God. They put some gunk in his ears, and... Uh, Oh, because I, I, you know, they, they told me he's gonna be fine, and they put this weird blue-green stuff in his ears, 
and he okay. cannot hear he cannot hear a darn thing at the moment i keep clapping i say patriot patriot i keep clapping at him and he doesn't he doesn't <laughs> okay. even uh he doesn't respond and usually he's very quick to that so I, i'm hoping he hasn't gone completely deaf okay okay so now he is he fine now well, he, he seems to have a pep in his step, but he just can't hear a darn thing. That That is a new development, but they, they tell me as soon as the medicine takes and the infection is cleared, then he'll mm -hmm. be able to hear again. So we've all got high hopes mm -hmm. for Patriot. Okay. Okay. All right. So uh, he will be fine, miss. Uh, do not worry about him. Well, he thank you for fine. your and kind how words. Old is he? How old is he? Well, by God, I think he's probably about 14 years old. Oh, my God. He's 14 years old. Yes, he is. He he's... is a very sweet boy. He's so sweet. <laughs> okay, that's cool. That's good. Nice to hear that, miss. Yes. So, uh, we, we, I was working with your computer, right? And did you got my message over your computer screen? Well, I just got... Uh, back in the door, but I am sitting in front of the computer. What, uh, what should I l look at? Um, uh, so just sit uh, in front of the computer. Is it on my Google Chrome? You open up the Google? No, no, no. Do not open up the Google. Uh, check with the message. Did you get my message? Yes, I did. Okay, that's great. So, uh, and by the way, what do you do for the living, miss? Uh, do you live all alone? Uh, don't you live with your son? No, I do not live with my son. He's got an apartment, and I'm I'm living alone right now. I'm still able to even drive my car. People say, why oh, are you great. driving your car at, at, at your age? You shouldn't be do. I say mm -hmm. I am fine. Even even with with my amputated foot, I am. St it's just my left foot, so I'm able to control the gas and the brakes with my oh, oh. with my right foot, and so I'm fine. So how old are you? So how old are you? Well, I'm I am very glad you asked about that because today is my birthday. I have just turned eighty. Oh, oh. I am now Happy 80 years old. Well, thank you very much. Uh, you know, it, it's it's one of those things where you you almost you you tend to forget about it. But I have been reminded that my son says, "You are eight. You're going to be 80 years old," and I say, "What? I don't even remember remember turning nine, uh, 79." But here we are. It's my birthday, oh my uh, January 26, 1943. Oh my God! Happy, uh, so much happy returns of the day, Miss. Well, thank you many, so many much. Many happy returns of the day, and happy birthday to you. Well, thank you. My my wishes is with your family, and uh, I'll pray to the Lord that uh, your son will get fine. He will listen to you in the future. I hope so. I hope so. But I mean, you're you're making it seem like maybe his girlfriend might not be a a cold blooded killer. So I might want to maybe cook her a nice pot of stew and maybe treat her like a, a real human being. Mm -hmm. Correct, miss. Correct. Uh, as I told you, never judge a book by its cover. If you think that she could be a killer, she could be a criminal, she could be anyone, please don't judge that. If your son likes her, if your son wants to live with her, let them live them together. Well, because you, that's his life. You because might be right, life. Eric. You 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 could be right. I am. I tend to be a, a worry wart. I I just hope no one is taking you know taking advantage of Daniel. And you know, it's it's just one of those things. And what's your son? What's the, what's the name of your son? His name is Daniel. Daniel. Okay, that's oh, a nice name. Daniel. Yes, he, he is a wonderful boy. He was in the band during high school, and I, we were we were so proud of him. But he said, "I'm not playing the euphonium anymore. I do not want to play so the euphonium." I say, "Why okay. don't you play the euphonium?" I used to play the euphonium in my high school band. What's wrong with the euphonium? He says, 
I am. I want to go to football games and hang out with the cheerleaders. And I said, oh, I do not know if that's a good idea. <laughs> but he's a grown yeah. boy now, and he's doing very well. Well, I think he's doing... You know, he just he doesn't ever cook for himself. He doesn't even know how to go to the grocery store. Okay. It's okay. He will get no. I guess so. No. I suppose. I'm also like your son, miss. Take me as a as a son. Oh, well, you you are very nice. Mm. You're a very nice young man. Thank you so much, miss. You're like my mother. I oh. thought that I'm talking with my mother. Over the call. Well, that's very sweet of you. Thank you so much, Miss. So I just need to tell you that uh, right now, as I told you, that your cell phone and telephone lines were hacked. You know that somebody was listening to your conversation. That you're talking with anyone. That if you're gonna talk with your son, if you're gonna talk with anyone, they will listen to your conversation. And the main concern over here is you are living all alone. And I don't want that could anything could become to your life because these are the hacker. These are the hacker. And I'm, I don't know why they have attacked your computer, but I'll make sure that I will find those hacker and they must be behind the bars. We are going to okay? bring them to justice and they will, they will perish in a fiery, the pits of hell is what I say. Correct, miss. Correct, miss. Correct. We are not sure who have attacked your computer. If you're gonna tell with, uh, if you're gonna say over the call that yeah, my computer got hacked and somebody is talking with me over the over the call over the phone and they told me my cell phone and telephone lines are hacked. So the hacker will get to know that you already aware of this. Hell is okay? in hackers so and that's I saw a movie. I saw uh -huh. a movie one time, and it was a guy who had a hoodie, and he was uh -huh. uh, staring at the computer screen, and he was okay. a hacker. And uh, Sean Connery was able to to uh, absolutely s uh, blow him to smithereens. He was able to explode him completely, and... Um, it was wonderful. It was a wonderful movie. It was a. It was a. Uh, it was one so of those moments where aware? it was like, uh, you know, yes. he's he got. Uh, well, he got exploded. Yes. Yes. So you already aware what hacker can do with you? You already aware of yes, that? Yes, and I am and aware of James Bond. Or, wait, did he play James Bond? Correct. Oh, that was the movie. Yeah. It was called The Rock, I think, or something. But he ended up exploding the hackers. With a ex with a a giant explosion, it was wonderful. Okay, yeah, you can consider me as a James Bond because I'm the oh, technician over here right now. You're like the, the James life, Bond. I'm the, I'm I the, see. Yeah, re in the real life, I'm the James Bond. I will gonna blow the hackers for you. Do you have one of those suits? One of those great suits? <laughs> One of those, I don't have that suit. Like but a tuxedo yeah, that you go suits. around in and use special gadgets and, and things? Uh, no, no, no. I don't have that suit, but yeah, uh, I will going to buy that suit. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, as you know, that nothing is secure over there. So what I suggest you, do not... Call me back in this number every time I will call you from my end, okay? And please note down the number from which, uh, from the okay, number from which so I, I will just call don't call, call you. you then. You, you'll you call me. Yes, I will okay, call you. Okay, dear, and note sounds down the good. I'll talk to you later. Listen, 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 note down the number. Bye bye. Note down.